Hello everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome back to Educating Adventures. The Amazon rainforest is home to some incredible animals and one of those incredible animals happens to be the third largest cat in the world, the jaguar. Let's go ahead and get started talking about jaguars and all of their amazing adaptations. Jaguars are a species of big cat, and they're very closely related to other big cats like tigers, lions, leopards, and snow leopards. Jaguars are primarily found in South America, but several do live in the southern part of North America as well, and one has even been seen patrolling southern Arizona in the United States. Most of the time we're finding jaguars in forests, like that Amazon rainforest we mentioned before, but they can also be found in wetlands and grasslands and really anywhere where there's food available for them. We did say that jaguars are a species of big cat. They're actually the third largest cat in the world behind the tiger and the lion. Male jaguars tend to be larger than female jaguars, and a large male jaguar can weigh more than 300 pounds, which is about the same as a refrigerator. Jaguars are very well known for having that orange spotted coat. However, those spots aren't really spots. Like leopards, jaguars have patterns called rosettes, and rosettes are more like empty circles rather than a polka dot like a cheetah would have. This is one of the reasons why leopards and jaguars are very easily confused because they have similar patterns, but if you look really closely, the jaguar's rosettes are bigger and many of them have a polka dot in the center. Jaguars and leopards have some other differences as well, such as their size, their range, and their habitat. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about these differences, please visit our Species Spotlight using the link below to learn even more. Now I will say, on occasion, there are some jaguars that do not have that iconic orange and black coat, and instead they might appear completely black thanks to a mutation called melanism. Before we talk about melanism, we have to talk about melanin. Melanin is a pigment, kind of like a color, that most animals have in their skin or fur or scales. We have melanin in our skin and our hair. And if you have a lot of melanin in your skin or your hair, it's often much darker. A black jaguar has so much melanin in their fur that they appear completely black. Leopards can also be melanistic, and we actually call a melanistic jaguar and a melanistic leopard, we call them the same thing. We call them a black panther. While some jaguars are melanistic, most are not, and they rely on their rosettes to give them great camouflage so that they can ambush or sneak attack their prey. Like all big cats, jaguars are carnivores, they are meat eaters, but they do take that one step further because not only are they predators, they are apex predators, which means they are at the tippy top of their food chain. They don't have any predators of their own. Thanks to their ability to ambush prey, their very strong bite force, and their sharp teeth and claws, Jaguars are highly accomplished predators that can hunt more than 80 different species. There is some pretty large animals among those 80 species that are prey for a jaguar. Some of their favorite foods are capybaras, giant anteaters, deer, and peccaries as well. We've even found evidence that jaguars have been able to hunt and kill American black bears. They do eat some medium-sized prey as well, like little rodents, like agoutis, they eat iguanas, and they even eat birds. Jaguars are also accomplished swimmers, so it doesn't end there. They are able to hunt and catch prey in the water, including turtles, fish, and even caimans. Whether they are hunting or resting, we typically find jaguars alone because they are solitary, which means they don't like to live in a group. 
And even more than that, jaguars are also territorial, which means they don't even want other jaguars anywhere in their space. Having a territory is really important for a jaguar because it means they get access to any food in their territory or any potential mates that might be around their territory. To let other jaguars know, hey, I live here, you better go away, they mark their territory with things like scratches and urine and poop, scat. They'll even roar to signal to other jaguars, you better get out of here. Unfortunately for jaguars, the area that they have to build and establish these territories is getting smaller. And unfortunately, we are worried that jaguars could be threatened with extinction if we don't do something quick to protect them. One of the biggest threats that they're facing is deforestation and other types of habitat loss. The areas that they used to live and call home, their territories, are being cleared. The forests are being cut down to create space for farmland. As their home disappears, they don't really have anywhere else to go, right? So they spread out into these new farmlands and they prey now on things like cows and sheep that ranchers have brought in. And the ranchers, they want to protect their cows and sheep. So sometimes they hunt jaguars to make sure that their cows and sheep aren't being preyed on. This is called human wildlife conflict and is a big problem with lots of different types of predators. Jaguars are also hunted or poached for things that are called trophies. Trophies would be things like their teeth, their claws, their pelts, just things that people think are cool. So the best way that you can help to protect jaguars and make sure they don't go extinct is don't buy any of these trophies and make sure that you don't support businesses that do buy or support those trophies. But really the best thing that you can do as an individual is you can do your part in stopping deforestation to stop that habitat loss that's threatening jaguars. We can do things like use less paper or use recycled paper. We can also purchase sustainable palm oil and sustainably harvested fruits and vegetables. And those are the best ways that we can make sure that jaguars and all sorts of other rainforest animals are protected. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today for our Jaguar lesson. If you would like to learn even more and take quizzes, do activities and projects, be sure to click that link to below to visit our website. And I can't wait to see you at our next adventure. Thank you very much.